Welcome back to our channel. This is another episode of Food Finders. As you can see, we have a new guest host today. His name is Leon. Hi, my name is Leon. I'm an actor and host. Erica is just a little bit bloated today because she has been eating so much food on the Food Finders. I'm just taking over just for a short period. I'm super stoked for today's episode because it's all about chicken, chicken rice. rice. Singapore's quintessential national dish is chicken rice. I do love a good plate of chicken rice. There was once my friends who just had chicken rice for an entire week. To the first person bows out. And I won. Wait, yo, you won? <laughs> yeah, I love chicken rice so much. So I'm ready to eat all the chicken rice today. Shall we? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go find uh, five of some of the best chicken rice in Singapore. Uh, let's head out. Let's go! So we're at Loy Key Best Chicken Rice. We're at which brunch? It's the Palestia brunch. <laughs> Let me do that one more time. <laughs> Okay, so now we are at Loy Key Best Chicken Rice. It's really one of the oldest establishments in Singapore since 1953. So this place has a lot, a lot of history. The business has gone to the third generation now since the time of the grandparents that actually came from Hainan itself. They still believe very strongly in upholding the Hainanese traditions and heritage and you can see it in the way they prepare their chicken and all the ingredients which are made from scratch. There's a traditional way of fermenting the dark sauce uh, over sunlight as compared to a closed environment. You can see from the consistency of the dark sauce, it's a lot stickier and a lot thicker. You might think it's slow-mo, but it's actually not. <laughs> we have the roast chicken. This is a half chicken portion. The white chicken, also half chicken. These portions go for $19. It actually looks huge. Right? <laughs> Compared to the process of soaking the chicken in ice water, which creates this like jelly-like skin, right? They actually don't do that. They only submerge the chicken in cold water. Because back then, there wasn't as much ice easily available. Although there isn't that congealed layer of fat, but the skin itself, it's very jelly-like and I really like that kind of texture. I think the cooking timing, they've got it pretty spot on. You still get the tenderness, which I, I would assume it comes a lot from the timing of the poaching. Uh. The rice itself, I feel like it's just nice. Uh. All the different components, they all come well together. They are not like trying to outshine one another. I do like the texture of the rice. It's not overly oily and uh. this comes with a lot, a lot of practice in my opinion. I tried the chilli. It's a little bit on the sour side. Like it's really a punch in your face. If you really want me to find one word about Loy Ki, it's that it's very well balanced. Wow, I can come here every day, man. The dark sauce, I thought it would be very, very salty, but no. I like that there's a subtle sweetness to the dark sauce. That gooey texture that you see actually works pretty well with the chicken. The dark sauce is so thick, right? I feel like I can write mouthy with it. Let me try the roast one. Mm, the skin for the roasted chicken is something else. It has this like barbecue sort of flavour. A bit like smoky, can, right? Yeah, it's like a bit smoky. Very unique flavour for the roast chicken, actually. In a good way, in a good way. I would rate this a 4.515. The food is good, okay? It's a bit on the expensive side, which is why I didn't give it like a full marks. You stole my line. Because <laughs> I was also gonna no, say 4.5 out of 5 because it's so balanced. But I think these guys really know what they're doing. Like. They've been around uh, since the 50s. Alright, so we're done here. Let's move on to the other chicken rice sauce. We are at Yishun 925 Chicken Rice. This place is very special to me. I grew up in Yishun. As long as you live in Yishun, you know this shop. My first memory of chicken rice is always from this store. So anything after that is always a comparison to this store. So here, we have the whole chicken portion. This is $26. They only sell white chickens. They also sell the single portions that's at $3 or $4. Half a chicken is $13. So this is like nostalgia to me. This is how chicken rice is supposed to look. I just can't wait to dig in. Something I've noticed that's special about their soup is actually boiled with corn and it looks a lot more flavorful. Like more effort was put into making the soup. They sell almost like around 500 plates every day. I don't know if that's a good number to, to reveal. There's no gauge, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what I usually do is I'll just taste the soup and then the rice first. I'm very systematic about my chicken rice. You try it, sorry. It's sweet. It's like the soup that our mom made. It is a very homely taste. I think that's one of the small things that sets apart good chicken rice stalls when they actually put attention into the soup. The chicken soup. rice is like how I remember. Very flavorful. It's moist and oily. The way it's supposed to be. 
I, I do like it. Uh, health is not my concern, la, so it's fine. There are two fractions for people who eat chicken rice. The gymmers who always order chicken breast, but I think for the both of us, I can very safely say that we are eating it for the taste, the congealed fat. In on the, the skin, right? Yeah, on the skin. It's done so perfectly. I don't know how they actually yeah. do it. I swear we can do like a personality test based on how we eat chicken rice. I will be the OCD, like it must be very systematic. Uh, I like to mix my chilli with the dark sauce and then just leather the entire thing on my chicken rice. So you cannot mix your ingredients, is it? I can, towards the end. Uh, very systematic that way. The chilli packs a punch, la, but it's not like so overwhelming. So if you want something refreshing, you can try the acha along with it. The acidity of the acha just awakens your palate. Kind of cuts through all that fat, so you don't get so jelak. So, ratings time. I would give 9 to 5 chicken 4 out of 5. I'm pretty sure it's not the best of the best, but then 4 out of 5 because this is like the first memory I have. And it's very consistent. I'm just scared that later I'll try a better one, but I am actually gonna give this a 5 out of 5. This is one of my favorite. Now I feel bad. What's, what's I give it 4 out of 5. <laughs> it is very simple, but like it all comes together very well. So can I change my ratings? <laughs> Producer, can I? I'll redeem myself later. Moving on. <laughs> so don't chicken out because we're heading to the next chicken rice place. So we are now at Maxwell Food Center and we're having the famed Tian Tian chicken rice. It has the Michelin Bib Goman since 2016, so that's four years in a row. 2016, 2017, yes, 2018, year 2019. Four years. Dollars, this is a $5 portion. Yep. It looks like it's made for tourists. Probably the most famous chicken rice in Singapore. By default, they didn't serve us any soup. We got a breast and chicken wing. Visually, it looks like a prop. <laughs> Everything is just all portioned out properly. And it looks very uh, moist. So you get your basic condiments that come with it. The ginger looks very cow. It looks freshly grated. Lah. I had a scoop of rice which came drizzled with their sauce. I don't know, it was just like a hit of saltiness. Like, boom, salty. She <laughs> very normal. <laughs> Like, I'm very not impressed by the chicken. If I were just to eat the rice alone, right, I feel like there's a sudden surge in my sodium level. It's yeah. a little bit salty. It's actually, right, it's salty. I think the ginger taste is quite prominent in this rice. Yeah, I have to say the ginger is really helping the this dish a lot. The sauce that you're getting here is a little bit on the thicker side. So it's more like a kind of gravy. I do like the texture of the chicken. It's not dry. It's not as oily as I want it to be. <coughs> the chilli, wow. The well, chilli is pretty spicy. This plate of chicken rice, Maybe it's not the best representation of chicken rice for Singapore, but it's a decent plate. I don't know, generally my meat is very tough. It's just different. You can try mine. Mine, mine is mine. definitely more moist, right? I don't know, consistency might be a difference. But I want to try like a, a set combination right now. Adding this to my rice, chili, and ginger. So mix everything up, right? I put everything there. So it's like a mini chicken rice in one spoon. <laughs> Mmm, very salty. <laughs> yeah, a lot of water. Yeah, I feel freaking thirsty now after right? eating. For me, it's a 3 out of 5. I would give Tian Tian a 2.5 out of 5. Mostly because of the Michelin Bib Goman and the hype, the expectations that I had. If they didn't have this award, I would actually rate them higher. Although this was a foul plate, but let's go to that. Okay, no, that's too mean. Wow, <laughs> Going straight to the jugular. So we are here at Evertop Chicken Rice Restaurant and this is in Clementi. I think they also claim that this is actually the first halal chicken rice stall in Singapore. So the current boss said that the father actually has um, a lot of Malay friends. The friends wanted to try chicken rice too. They just asked him one day like, could yeah. you just do like a halal version so we can all enjoy your chicken rice. For a halal certified white chicken, that's quite rare in Singapore as well. Most of the times so I think you see the roast chicken. And just based on the period, I think it looks very moist. Everything is boneless. It's half a chicken. It goes for $16. So if you want a normal plate of chicken rice, it starts at $5. I'm gonna try the rice. The rice is better than the average. It's not as flavorful as I thought it would be, but it's still good though. It's still good. I wanna try it to pair it with like the chicken. It's not too bad. Skin is relatively okay. Like. It's not as gelatinous as some of the other stalls that we tried. The right. ginger is very impactful. Yeah, it's like literally a punch in the face. The store owner did mention that they have to make the ginger and the spices every day. If not, it starts to lose its flavor. Like, like chili will start to be less spicy. I tried the acha. The acha is a little bit on the sweeter side. It's not as, I think, sour or like really... Acidic, yeah. Still kind of works. Because I guess the, the chicken is not as oily. I would love it to be a little bit more oily, right. honestly. 
still above average, la, then like, for sure, you know, for if sure, you just sure. go to a random uh, coffee shop and have like chicken rice. It's like the healthier version. So for all dreamers out there, let's just put it this way. Yeah, <laughs> if you're with a group of friends and there are some who has to eat halal chicken and everyone's craving for chicken rice, come to this place, you will not be disappointed. Okay, for, for a halal certified chicken rice, is actually very good. Bagus. I would give this a 3.5 upon 5. It is above average, so my average would be like 2.5 as a rating, right? Price point is a bit on the higher side. Yes. But I think that's justifiable because of the halal certification. I, I feel like this chicken rice is in the realm of everything that is halal. Okay. So if I were to base uh, and give my ratings based on that, mm -hmm. it will be 3.5 out of 5. Alright, so we're done with the halal chicken rice. Let's move on to the next stall. We are now here at Katong Shopping Centre and at the basement, you have delicious boneless chicken rice. Household name in the Katong area. Fun fact, this shopping centre is the first ever air-conditioned shopping centre in Singapore. 1973. I did my fact check. <laughs> and look at the spread, oh my god. I'm actually very interested in the acha because this is like the cleanest looking, healthiest plate of acha I've ever seen in my life. And the acha is free flow. This bowl of soup, it's free flow. Look at the amount of ingredients. There's this $7 set. If you actually do order it, this soup comes complimentary as well. Look at the pork ribs, the corn, the carrots. That one is the premium soup and what really struck me is the generosity of the ingredients in the soup. We came a little bit late. The steamed chicken is, was already sold out. However, they still had like two chicken wings left. Although they were nice enough to give us a full plate of roasted chicken. By the way, the roasted chicken is actually preferred by the owner. This one is $10 and it's a two-person portion. And this plate costs five bucks. So the first thing that struck me when I saw the rice is it's incredibly yellow. The bosses said that they added chicken oil. I can smell the fragrance of the rice just from here. The spice is a bit milder. Yeah, but the chicken oil, it's definitely there. Oh, you got it right. The soup is good enough to just drink by itself. It's very, very flavorful. Strong nose of pepper. Yeah, I want to try the premium one. It's very naturally sweet. It's very different from the cabbage one. You can taste the horn sweetness. The sauce is on a sweeter side. I can say for sure that it's not dry at all. The meat is really good. Really, really good. Let me try the chilli. Ooh, spicy. It's spicy enough for me. I try it's flavorful but it still feels like very healthy to me. There is like a slight sweetness to it. But one thing's for sure, it's very refreshing. Very, very refreshing. I want to highlight the little details on the roasted chicken as well. The fried garlic on top. This is like dedication right there. I think the roast chicken is really good. I'm normally not a huge fan of roast chicken, but it's actually pretty good. Like the skin is still mildly crispy. For a lot of roast chicken, it's like, it tends to get very dry. This one's relatively moist. This time round, the sauce complements the skin because it's a little bit sweeter. That's a very good one. Right? This sauce goes well with the roasted chicken skin. When you bite in with like a, a bit of like the crunchy garlic, right? it's actually yeah. very nice. It's a very wholesome mouthful. I'm a happy boy today. But the soup, I think, is still the highlight. Like. Nowhere in Singapore will you find such a luxurious soup that goes along with your chicken rice. Yeah, it's complimentary there. I would give Katong Delicious Boneless Chicken Rice a 4.5. Quite impressed by everything, especially the soup. Okay, for me, it's a solid 4.5 out of 5. I feel everything adds up to this very good experience. And the free soup also, wow, the standard. So we've come to the end of the episode and my favourite chicken rice for the day was actually Yishun 925 chicken rice. I really like the oiliness in the rice. The chicken was also very tender. The only downside is a bit like far off but they do have other branches. Alright, so for me, I wanted to say 925 as well because that's uh -huh. my earliest uh, memory of chicken rice. But I think we have to move on. <laughs> so my favourite for today is Loi Ki. Simply because the place really speaks to me. Everything is so well balanced. Uh, everything goes so well together. I agree, I agree. Loi, Loi Ki was actually, I would say, the second for me. So if you like our episode on Food Finders, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So till the next time, bye!